In this video, I'll walk through an example that deals with the activation energy of a first order reaction. The rate constant of a first order reaction is 5.78 times 10 to the negative fourth per second at 350 degrees Celsius. If the activation energy is 132 kilojoules per mole, calculate the temperature at which the rate constant is 8.80 times 10 to the negative fourth per second. Now I emphasized a few things there like kilojoules and degrees Celsius and that is for this reason. The equation that we're going to use to find the unknown deals in joules and degrees Kelvin. So let me write that down. The natural log of the ratio of the rate constants, k sub 1 over k sub 2, and I'll just identify those right now. This is k sub 1, or we will call this k sub 1, and we'll call this one k sub 2. So those are the two rate constants. Now the natural log of the ratio of those equals the activation energy, E sub A, over the constant R, multiplied by another ratio, a ratio of the difference of the temperatures, so T sub 1 minus T sub 2, over the product of the ratios, or product of the temperatures. So that is it. That's the formula that we're going to be using. So it's kind of nice that we just have this plug and chug type uh, problem here, but let's identify what we know and what we don't know. Right away, what we don't know is what is the temperature? We don't know the, the ending temperature, so we'll call that T sub 2. T sub 2 equals what? All right, identified K sub 1 and K sub 2. Let's talk about the rest of these. Uh, T sub 1, T sub 1 is in Kelvin. Let me, let me tell you why T sub 1 is in Kelvin. It's because our constant that we're going to use is 8.314 joules per degrees Kelvin moles. So that's why we have to put things in terms of joules and degrees Kelvin. So T sub 1 is, is 350 plus 273 for 623 Kelvin. Don't confuse that K with the small K uh, sub 1 and sub 2, the rate constants. Okay, so now because we have this in joules as well, we have to talk about the activation energy, which is denoted E sub A in terms of joules. Now we are given it in, uh, it is given to us in kilojoules, so we just say that is 132,000 joules. Okay, if we have the activation energy, it looks like we have everything we need. Our unknown then is T sub 2. What is the ending temperature. You can pause it now and try to work it out yourself and then come on back and here I go. Now we'll do this together. The natural log of the constants or of the rate constants. So we've got 5.78 times 10 to the negative fourth per second over 8.80 times 10 to the negative fourth per second. All right, that'll just be a number, and that equals this activation energy, 132,000 joules over 8.314 joules per Kelvin times mole. And then difference of the temperatures in the numerator, 623 minus T sub 2. First time we get to see the unknown there. I know the irony of saying, seeing the unknown. We're writing the letter of the unknown. Next, in the denominator, 623 times T sub 2 again. So we have this unknown showing up twice in our formula. We'll be able to solve that. Now, first of all, you can just take the natural log of this ratio. Uh, the calculator takes it very well, order of operations. And then you can take that and divide that answer by this ratio. And in the end, you would get, now I'm going to have to round here, but you would get negative 2.64756, I'm rounding, times 10 to the negative fifth. And that equals, now still on the left-hand side, after we've taken this and divided by this ratio, we have still 623 minus T sub 2 over 623 times T sub 2. If math is not a problem for you, then you've 
already blown past this and gotten the answer, but I'm just going to break it down step by step just a, a little bit. So here we're going to uh, multiply each side by 623 T2. So if I take and multiply each side by that 623 T2, it cancels it out here. And on the left hand side, then we get negative 0 0.0164 9 times t sub 2 still equals 623 minus t sub 2. Now let's add 1 t2 or add t2 to each side that gets rid of it on this side and it adds 1 to this coefficient. So that gives us 0 0.98350 zero six times t sub two we're in the home stretch equals six hundred twenty three divide each side by this coefficient and you get t sub two equals six hundred thirty three i'm rounding now six hundred thirty three degrees kelvin remember we were dealing in degrees kelvin well presumably we want this answer in the same uh, units that we got the question in. So we'll just subtract 350 off of that. Or I'm sorry, subtract 273. And so the temperature that we need to get this rate constant of 8.80 times 10 to the negative fourth, the temperature that we need is 360 degrees Celsius. I hope that was helpful. If you found it helpful, please consider liking it or sharing it with a friend.